microphone set up. I actually organised the streaming box last night. It's a bit scary, Dan. We're organised. There we go. Thank you for popping in so early, Dan. What do you mean that's not like me? What have I done? That's not me in the background. That's a drill, mate. I don't eat that much beans in my diet. So. All right. <laughs> the other thing I haven't done is put this on YouTube, uh, YouTube on Twitter. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, trust me, I have my moment. Just give me a second, fam. Hey, mate. Hello. How are you? Yeah, yeah um, they showed me this morning. How are you been going, Tash? Good? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, good. We got partnered on YouTube. Thanks for the opportunity to let us come down here and uh, stream and that. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, they must like watching an old fat bald bloke with no teeth turn the camera on cash. <laughs> so how are these going? Do. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, I better get into it. So, have you been keeping well? Yeah. That's the main thing, mate. Excellent. Good to hear it. Oh no. We're streaming to YouTube. Yeah, so see here. <clears throat> We're live. Martin, how are you, mate? So yeah, that's the channel that we're live on now. Oh yeah, we'll probably go for a couple of hours. We'll go up and do the weighing and all that sort of stuff and hopefully they won't trip over anything, you know? <laughs> yeah, no worries, Kimberly. Thanks, mate. All right, everyone, let's just get this sorted. Oi. Oh, anybody think I'm on the turps? Right, let me just get this sorted. Ah. Morning, everyone. Martin, how are you, mate? Master Splinter, we've got a heap of them here. Now, in case you're wondering, I have about four of these shirts, okay? I have had a wash, hence the shave. Welcome, everyone. So look, um, what I'll do is I'll put that down here. Okay. What we try and do on our stream is to provide informative and um, interesting content. And a lot of it's community based. So where we are here in Western Australia, we have a sea turtle rehabilitation center. Okay. Now on Wednesdays, people come down from Perth and they weigh the turtles and they measure them and they monitor their progress. Because of the very bad storms we've had this year, um, we've actually got about 30 sea turtles, which is the most they've had in a long time, okay? 
that are in rehab. And when I say rehab, no, they didn't pull them out of the front bar of a hotel because they'd been drinking too much or anything like that. They've been washed up on the shore um, during storms. One thing I didn't know is that turtles get their fresh water from the um, food that they eat. So when they eat fish and that sort of stuff, that's how they get their fresh water. And I didn't know that, you know? All right. <laughs> Some, something like that. Hey, okay. All right. Hey, mate. Sorry, Tay. Hey, no dramas. So is there about 30 here or? Uh, 20 something. 20 something, that's a lot, isn't it? Compared to normal, eh? Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Or like under 10 so Makes it easier, doesn't it? Yeah. But I mean, that's how bad the storms were this year. Yeah, we've had about 30, 34 come in. Wow. Um, so we lost a couple, but... Oh, yeah, I wasn't here when that big one came in. Yeah, he was here for a day. And then he no, passed. Not even actually. And then he passed away that night, didn't he? Yeah, it's a bit sad. That was, that was a Gilbert sea turtle, wasn't it, or something was like that? Olive no. Ridley. Yeah, Olive Ridley, sorry. Yeah. Gilbert Ridley, some famous poet yeah. somewhere, you know. Whoops, had turtle lexia there. Yeah, so yeah. yeah it's pretty cool actually, it's Yeah, they'd would they autopsy that? I think he's getting it off the autopsy. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Bugger. Yeah, that's a problem too. You don't know what else it could have been. They could have even eaten a bag that was in the water, then that affected them and they got couldn't handle yeah, the storm yeah. and that, so I think I think they ate a little bit, but I think they didn't want to Oh, bugger. Bugger. Yeah, poor thing. Yeah, well, hopefully it got to reproduce. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so. You never know, because you, like, you never really tell how old they are unless they do Yeah, so. yeah, well, that's right, yeah. And it take, what does it take them, 10 years before they can determine what sex they are? I think it's more like 30. 30 years? Yeah, wow. Like that, so. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, no dramas, that's interesting, isn't it? If I'm wrong, I'll you No, no, you're wrong, I'm not going to check, don't worry, Tash. All right, people, so what it is, basically this year, okay, we've had um, heaps and heaps of turtles that have been found washed up on beaches. Okay, so this guy here, number 16, as you can see, these are loggerhead turtles, right? These are the turtles that are situated in this area. All righty, so um, what happens is when you go near the tank, they'll come over thinking that they're going to get fed, right? Um, Quite cute little buggers, funny little things. Right, there we go. Okay, and um, what happens is when they get brought in, see how that one's lost its back right leg and it's also lost part of its front left fin, okay? It doesn't swim around in circles, so it'll be okay. But what they'll do is when they do that, um, they will uh, do a little diagram of what injuries it has, right? And then they will bring it back in here. If these were still in the wild, they wouldn't have a chance to survive, right? But because they're in here, they're able to survive with no predators and it makes sure that they can return to full health, right? Oh. <laughs> Down, boys. Gee, what do you think this is, eh? I'll tell you, fellas, you know... You're doing nothing for the female movement there. Go and have a look at yourself in the mirror, all right? So. <laughs> all right. Let's just um, close that up. And what we'll do is we'll move into the main area. Let me just swap this around. Hey, mate. Oop, ladies first, after you. Uh, you want to come through? Cheers, guys. I'll go and grab that tripod in a second, Bob. <laughs> Is it okay to leave my crate on the table or or somewhere under there? Okay. Okay. This cleans the inside of the 
Uh, because they can't name them. It's coming up, it's coming up. Because they have so many sea turtles, um, they have to give them numbers, otherwise I would never be able to clearly identify them. All right, so these are the holding tanks. This is where the big bugger is. Look at the size of this one. He's going to get, he or she's going to get shifted soon. So there we go. I don't even know what this one's name is. I think they have given them all names. Come on, bud. Their shells are made of keratin. All right, and they do like to hang around the um, aerator on most of these. Not only do they rehab turtles, they also try to um, rehab coral, okay? And then that way, what that does is they actually um, use coral in the displays upstairs, so. Right, now, as well as turtles, and I've done this before, I've brought fish in here when we had the boat. Okay, and what we do is um, we basically um, bring the fish in so that it helps them rehab. Yeah, they will do, Dan, but what I'll do, mate, is we'll do it later on um, when they're ready to be fed and that sort of stuff. Now, in here, we have a couple of rays or skates, as you lot call it. There we are. Okay, the little one here is about, um, I'd say 18 inches long, and that one there is a bit over three feet. Okay, no, probably two and a half feet, sorry, now that the bubbles are out the way. Hello, little fellas. Hello. They're quite tame, actually. They weren't very big last time I was here. That's how long it's been. Yeah, that's right, Martin. And um, I'll show you that as well. Okay. So what they'll do is they'll keep that turtle separate from these. It's in a lower tank, so it can't climb over into this tank. All right. Sorry. No worries, it's so sorry. Bob, what are these rays in here? What's the little one? That's just your standard, isn't it? Or? We put the females down here. Right. Oh, the banjo we put down here because it was getting picked on by the turtles. Yeah, because they do like to eat them, don't they? And we did have another female in here, but she needs to jump out. Oh, no. Uh, so that, that's a female one there. We don't want them breathing up there now, if we can help. Yeah, I see what you're saying. What all these crazy Craze. Oh really? I'll go around and show them later. Mask craze or white claw? Oh really? Oh, great. So that's a banjo and what's that, an eagle? That's a painted mask. Painted mask, great, right okay. Hey Paul, how you going mate? Probably the mum that had all the ones here. Yeah, okay, righto. Yeah, because they don't grow very big, do they? The mask. Yeah. Like dwarf oh, stingery. stingery. Okay, interesting. I didn't even know there were dwarf stingers. All right. Okay. Yeah, they won't get much bigger than that. most of them will just grow to the size of their environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sharks and that. Bonsai rays. And like the Ford Jackson? Yeah. One in that round tank, I probably won't get much bigger. It's a big one. Yeah, yeah, the environment. A lot of plants are like that too. Yeah, okay. So what we have here is that is a mast ray. Painted mast ray, sorry. Right, the little one. And on there we have a banjo ray. Okay, the big one's the banjo. It will be so known as a fiddler. Yeah, fiddler ray, yeah. But they call them banjo for the slang. Yeah. So that's the painted mast ray in there. These things are quite tame too, aren't they? Well, you can't be hand fed them. You can't hand fed this one. Really? Don't let me fed them, I haven't fed them, I don't know. Okay. 
Right, oh, fair enough. The babies will come in and take the food off your hands. Hey? The babies will come and take the food off your hands. Oh, really? Two bigger ones, like, and two smaller ones. Like, one yet, then the gold is in I'll sneak one. round and show everyone. And that's in the cover, obviously, under the cover. Under the cover. Yeah, yeah, righto, mate. Okay, so these ones in here, that's a fiddler ray, and that's the painted mask ray on the left trying to climb out. Right. Now in here, we've got a few more turtles, all right? They look like American footballers with the numbers on the back, don't they? Okay. I was going to rip in the Manchester United joke there, but they won last night, so we can't stir them up, okay? Let me try and get a better angle. All right. So what we'll do is we'll come over here now. So in here, fam, what we have is these are various little cultures of coral. Right, that they're trying to uh, get to. Oh, man, that's a bit touchy, that camera. That they're trying to get to grow. So what they'll do is they'll also use these in the tanks. Now, is there is a little um, blue fish that's building around at the moment. It'll come up in a minute. There it is, right at the end. Look at the colour in that fish. Beautiful. Okay. Sorry. The bin's gone. That's right. I'll chuck that in there. Okay. <laughs> Paul, welcome everyone. Good to see so many people in here. Now what we have in here is the other corals, okay, which they're trying to get to grow. Alrighty, and let's just chuck in here for a second, right, and see if we can see these little stingrays in here. So what we'll do is we'll just get that angle right. Might change to a different camera. That might be a bit better. Let's go. Wow, this YouTube app's very touchy this morning, isn't it? There we go. So, just in here they have four little baby stingrays, see them? Right, just in there. You can see them swimming around in various sizes. Now with these masked painted rays, or stingrays as they're called, not stingrays, I'll stand corrected. Okay, with these stingrays, these don't grow as big as stingrays. And obviously in here they have no natural predators, so they're guaranteed to survive, okay? Alright. And once again, we have clamshells and other bits of coral, etc, etc. So this will actually be used in the displays, okay? And then what they will do is they will um, they will provide a natural habitat for the clownfish that are in here. Right. So let's go through here. Right. Now the other thing they do in here too. Right. Oh, sorry, mate. I'll get out of your way. So what they'll do in here is they also breed clownfish as well. So since Nemo has been around, the clownfish production has gone through the roof. Okay, and they have various types. You're on that. They have various types of um, clownfish in here. Right, this is the flame tomato clownfish on the left. Right. That one there is the flame tomato. Right. And in here, we have the blackfoot clownfish as well. So the bottom of the clownfish is actually black. Whoops. Chuck that in there. So see how the belly on that clownfish is actually a darker colour than the rest of it? Just in there, see that there? Yeah, that's a blackfoot clownfish there. And in here we have the Clark Eye. Right, so we've got a tank full of little Nemos here. There we are. Be quite a nice little screensaver, I think, at some stage. Oh, they are Paul. <laughs> Hence the name clownfish, mate. Oh. Are the dolphins coming in? Oh, okay. I might go out there and show everyone the dolphins. Alright, this is the first time that we've been doing this that the dolphins have come in. Oh, lovely. I might run down the beach and show her. So, coming through or? Righto. 
I'm resist. Hello, mate. Oops, sorry, bud. Um, I'll just take that with me. Right. That's got the uh, modem. Yeah. Oh. All right, famo, we've got a special treat. So what happens is, this is a big tourist attraction down here. We have a heap of the dolphins that'll come in down to the beach. Iron Resist, thanks, mate, for coming in. Thanks for your support on Twitter. Okay. So let's just go for a little walkies. Yeah, <laughs> flipper. Something like that. Yeah, big tourist attraction here in... Um, Western Australia. So what we'll do is we'll just stay up the top. Right, I'm gonna to need to charge this in a second. <laughs> Thanks, Iron Resist. I really appreciate your support, mate. Right. So what happens is when the dolphins turn up, they ring the bell. Right. As you can see. It's a pretty average day for weather today. Hello. Morning. Right. So, what they'll do, hey? <laughs> yeah, trying to. Okay. How far off is it? Okay. So what I'll do is when. Okay, there it is. So, what happens is, yep, when the dolphins come in close, they usually ring the bell. There it is. <laughs> it's probably running off to, or oh, swimming off to say hello to the swimmer. There we go. <laughs> there it is, just in front, fam. When we had the boat, they used to come up to the boat all the time. Yeah. We'd go out and they'd leap like 20 foot in the air and land just in front of the boat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have they been coming in consistently? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good for the Turos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. You're welcome. I think it might be a heading. Okay. All right, let's head back down. Yeah, they've just come in on the left there. Oh. <laughs> Hank, how are you, bud? Um, yeah, okay, so let's just do a little um, lesson in science. Dolphins live in water. The bell is on land. A little bit of a issue with environment there. But yeah, it's the thought that counts. So... Get a moment. <laughs> right. <sighs> Let's head back. All right, so we're going to start doing the bike riding streams tomorrow morning, famo. The 5 a.m. bike rides in my fight against gravity. All right, here we go. The real stuff. <laughs> All right, so what's this one called, the big one, again? Shane. Shane. Shane's Beach now. Uh, Shane's Beach, right, C-H-E-Y-N-E-S. So what they do is they hand feed the turtles. <laughs> Ray, uh, Rays don't have teeth. They, they don't have teeth, they just have like a couple of plates. Yeah, that's right, Paul. Glasgow Rebel, welcome. So if you just have a look on the left here, they'll drop the uh, food in front of it. Okay, and then it'll go up and chase the food like that. How much do they get each, depending on size or? Let's stop eating. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I might move in with me flippers then, I think. <laughs> oh, really? I haven't caught anything off the beach as if I did, I'd bring them in for you. Yeah. But I haven't seen a herring out here yet. It's just really quite strange, you know? Glasgow Rebel, hello mate. So what they're feeding him is the West Australian herring, little bits of squid, and what else do you have as well as a squid and the herring? Prawns. As we say in Australia, don't go the raw prawn with me, remember, when they get a bit annoyed. <laughs> Alright, 
So what they'll do too is they'll also feed the fiddler ray. So that'll actually take food out of your hand if you let it. There he is, see how he's zoomed in? And then over here what they've got is they're just feeding the little turtles in here, okay? So what they'll do is it just teaches them to compete. Let me just check if I've got the right angle. Oh, look. They're having a little kiss and a cuddle. Hello. <laughs> Here he is. Here's the big one. There he is, belting around. At that size, how long will a gulp of air last them underwater? Oh, three hours. <laughs> three hours? Well, full size can be up to eight hours. Wow. So, That's pretty efficient, isn't it, Bob? Probably under three hours. It is. It's quite a while ago. It's sort of going like yoga, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a heart rate down. Turtle yoga. Now, there's something they haven't tapped into yet, Bob. We need to look at that, eh? Oh, yeah. Radio. No, they don't. Um, yeah, you and me both, Paul. Yeah, they don't feed them any pelletised food. This is all raw food. Because they get their fresh water from the food, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Because I was sitting there and I, it's like, you know, 50 years of age fishing my whole life. No. Oh. So how do turtles get fresh water and Bob enlighten me? Yeah. Great, there you go, you learn something new every day. They drink like the sea water and then they drink the salt from their eyes as well. Really? Yeah. If you see a turtle with like big joy like tears almost, I mean, that's all the salt. So they have their own system that they can purify seawater? Yeah, yeah. So they'll essentially drink the seawater as well and the food and then they drink the salt through their eyes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You better not let the junkies get onto that one. <laughs> hey? So. Pretty cool. Oh. And what we're going to do is we're going to move up to the main tank and I'm going to show you a few of the other displays. All right. I might get in on this angle, Tash. Sorry, mate. There you go. It might be a bit better for him. There we go. So all little buggers are all competing for food now. Right. And what they try and do is they try and distribute the food evenly. I saw that video. It's good at Schmelt so they can identify them. It'd be impossible to tell most turtles apart when they're the same size unless they've got injuries. So what they do is they put a number on their shell which is made of keratin and then that way they can identify which turtles which. So. The YouTube app doesn't use anywhere nearly as much power as what the um, Streamlabs does. And the Streamlabs causes me sleepless nights, Tash. Oh, it's a nightmare. No. They're funny when they come up and blow bubbles and then go back down, aren't they? So funny. 
Oh yeah? Okay. Do they do they clean the numbers off them when they release them in the wild or yeah you'd have to wouldn't you? Oh okay. Oh well oh that's right because the keratin's continually reproducing, isn't it? Oh, it's just probably YouTube schmelts. Don't worry about it, mate. There's lots of stuff going on with YouTube at the moment. Oh, sorry, Bob. And the other thing is, too, this centre is virtually run by volunteers who do an absolutely fantastic job and giving up their free time to come in. <laughs> now, Martin, with that sort of attitude, I don't think they'd end up getting girlfriends. Thank you very much. There we go. That might be a bit better. Ooh. Man. There we go. Yeah, try and get to number one, lads. That'd be a good start, yeah? So. <laughs> What time did the displays open up there? And they're not on holidays yet, are they, or are they? No, yeah, but it doesn't matter, they'd still be in here, so. Um, Bob, the loggerhead turtles, what's their longest lifespan? 100? 80? Yeah. The yeah. turtles, the loggerheads. They say 100. They say 100, don't they? Yeah, it's like humans, though. We can go a bit before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, it varies. Yeah, so it's about 100 years. Um. <laughs> Hello, Tipsy Max. Yeah, so 100 years, Paul, and Tipsy Max. Right, and Jackie Horse, chat is always number one, mate. Right, chat has always been number one on this stream, okay? So. And always will be. So as you can see, this one here is actually going down to the bottom to feed. That's a really good sign for these, right? Because if they're not well, they won't be able to go down to the bottom to feed. So number 20, who's obviously the centre half, right, leading the way, right? And then 24, the centre forward saying, look, mate, I don't pass the ball, I just shoot for goals, you know? All right, so welcome, Jackie. Eighteen's that really annoying winger that's always in there for the crumbs, you know? And what we'll do, Famo, is go up to the other tanks and I'll show you the other displays, okay? And then that way we can just uh, show you what else is happening here. So as I said, this place is run by volunteers, okay? Um, they do an absolutely wonderful job, All right? And um, where we are, um, where we are, they have a lot of displays of um, native fish, okay? And they also have a massive aquarium. What's the capacity of that big aquarium up the top there, matey? What's the capacity of the big aquarium up the top? Oh, <laughs> no worries. All right. So what we'll do is we'll move up, and then I'll go and show you some of the other, um, the other displays that are up here as well, okay? Uh, Martin, they're funded by donations and by um, sponsorship, but mainly donations. It's actually a registered charity, right? Um, we've already adopted a turtle on behalf of the community. We've donated $50 to um, this rehabilitation centre, and I did that on behalf of our community uh, just to support them. 
and it's like that stream that I did from the wildlife park. I've paid my annual pass to get in there. So we pay the $75 to support the centre. Every time we go in there, I buy about 15 bags of feed for everything. That's how they make their money, you know? So um, yeah, what we will do is now that we're partnered on YouTube, we're gonna do a separate donation link for them, all right? But we'll worry about that later. 27,500 litres. That's a big martini, isn't it, eh? Wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting about you young blokes nowadays. Yeah, right. Yeah. 27 and a half thousand litres. It's a warm up. <laughs> yeah. There's four of us. Give us a bucket and four straws. We'll show you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Then you wake up Monday and wonder what happened, you know, like something out of the hangover. Hey. Oh, Jackie, we will be um, we will be live streaming in the mornings from now on and the evenings. What I'm going to be doing is we're going to be chasing whiting tomorrow morning or maybe probably Friday morning, actually. We'll see how we go with that. So, yeah, and that's right, Martin. And you've got to look, unfortunately, with a lot of content creators, they tend to make it about themselves. We make it about the people that give us the opportunity to um, live stream here because this is a very expensive um, process to rehab these turtles and it's um you know oh paul you gotta have a laugh mate you know so yeah uh kalua oh, i guess so i'm confident when i'm drinking one of mucket you know and then two weeks later they wake up so oh you got night shift again jackie that's not good whoa Okay, so as you can see, what they're doing is they're taking a breath, turtles do, and the fact that they can hang out on the bottom and that sort of stuff. That one over there that's got its flipper on the um, intake there, that's having a casual little snooze, right? Full time, congratulations, Jackie, that's awesome, mate, because, you know, in these current times of, um, like, post-COVID and, you know, COVID and all the rest of it, to have work's a great thing, you know? Oh, hello, mate. Hey. And they usually hang around the edge of the tank for some reason too, unless they're being fed. It's like they've all been put in the naughty circle, you know? You've been a very naughty turtle. You didn't chew your food, go and look in the corner for them. They did that up to us at school in the old days. Now they've locked them up for bullying. Hello Valerie, how are you my friend? Welcome to the stream. We are at a sea turtle rehabilitation place. So what happens is with all the storms that have been around this winter, they wash these turtles up on shore, people bring them in and then they rehabilitate them, okay? Thank you very much for joining us Valerie. Thank you for giving up your time to come in along with everyone else that's in the chat, okay? What we'll do is we'll just wait till the girls have moved away from this other turtle that's in a tank. Oh, do you do night fill, Jackie? Right, and these are the rays. So that one on the left there, Valerie, is a fiddler ray. And the one on the right is a stingree, not a stingray. And that's a mask painted ray. If you have a look closely, and every single time you've got a stingray, oh, there we go. If you have a look at it closely, it's got a little mask on the front of its face. See there, like a little Zorro, right? It's like a little Zorro, it'll come out of that, there it is. See how it's got a little mask on its front, like a little Zorro? That's, they're called the mask painted ray. And this one here, I'll just go and grab the modem and everything, right? This is the big one, Shane. Hello, Shane. What's going on, Shane? There we go. So Shane was brought in and was in a pretty bad way. You adopted a koala? Oh, well, not. Nah. Well done. You're welcome, Valerie. Yeah, I did that job, Jackie, when I was younger. And I tell you what, mate, that shows that you're a very hard worker to do night shift like that. Mate, I'll take my hat off to you. All right? So as you can see, Shane um, is learning his road rules there. Um, he's going for his license. And at the moment, he's just trying to figure out reverse, you know? But that's all right, Shane. We still love you. Don't worry about that, mate. It could be worse. Chopper could be taking your driving lessons. Yeah. All right. 
Is that the little bonus? Is it Tashel? <laughs> Oops. Hey, Agent Cal Gibbs. How are you, mate? Is it okay to go and show them that turtle that's in the tank on its own up there, Tash? Thanks, mate. All right, so we're going to leave Shane now because Shane's in yoga mode as Bob's just uncovered the secret of yoga and turtle yoga. Now, with these clownfish, have a look at this, fam. Right? These are the clownfish that they're bringing in oh, and they're raising for the displays. Right? So these are all good. Right, let's come in now. Right. Whoops, sorry, girls. All right. So, what we'll do, what, when they normally bring them in, right, they bring them in and put them in a ca uh, tank on their own. Right, so this one was found at Augusta, and this one's name is Crush. Funny little things underneath, aren't they? Okay. And what they'll do is they'll just let them acclimatise, and when they bring them in, what they also do is they'll do like a little um, chart, if you have a look here. So this is, let me just get this right. So this is Crush from Augusta. Um, he had some barnacles on his shell. His back right flipper was missing and his front left um, flipper is missing too. So then if we go back to the little turtle that's in here, right, if you have a look at the poor little bugger, when he's come in off the... Um, <laughs> There's a very funny song about that in Australia, but it's very rude, Patch. I'll share it with you another time. So he thinks he's being fed. So see here, the front left fin is gone and healed over, and the back right part there. I'll show you the zoom in there. All right, so see? There you go. And don't worry, you won't swim around in circles. <laughs> certainly does, Paul. And now what we'll do is I'll show you all the little um, clownfish that are in here. They're very, very funny little fish. They're like a school of puppies, more like than a school of fish or a little thing. Of Look at that. That's hilarious. Look at that. Don't worry, mate. I haven't got you in the uh, film there. Right. There we go. So it's just a tank full of little clownfish. Okay. So what they feed them is mice or shrimp, and they feed them a brine solution as well, because these are quite small fish, so they can't feed too much on the big stuff. Okay. All right. Once I can get down to the river and it clears up, I'll bring you in some fresh stuff, mate. Okay. So we have a couple of blocks of mice, shrimp, and brine there as well. Right, and then watch this for a feeding frenzy. There they go, they're into it. Looks like a battle royale from the wrestling, doesn't it, eh? No, they don't, Schmelz. Sorry, mate. You want a hand with that or are you good? I'm good. Okay. You're welcome. All right, so as you can see, it's a feeding frenzy. There they are. And what they'll do is that won't even hit the bottom. Right, that won't even hit the bottom. They all fly in and take a mouthful, which is, I suppose, it teaches them competition, I guess, so. Right. And as I said to you, there's a few different flavours of... Um, Clownfish. Oh, I'm in your way. I will shift. No, no, you go. <laughs> what they're cleaning at the moment is they're cleaning all the coral and that sort of stuff. Right. <laughs> Must be gym fish. I think so, Dan. 
Good old Kev, where would we be without Kev? And don't forget to click on that like icon, fam. Let YouTube know that you're watching and let them know that we're all interacting during the stream, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move up to the main tank and the main display, display area. So if you want a really nice screensaver, stick around because we have some really stunning um, fish, crustaceans, and other things that we're gonna show you in a minute, okay? No, they don't, Schmelz. You can't, um, those, the flippers don't grow back on the turtles, do they, or not? No. No, that's right. That's what I thought, yeah, and they just, oh yeah, we know that. Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? And those salamanders and that, didn't they try and adopt some of the old salamander technology to try and grow limbs back and that sort of stuff? I don't know about that. Yeah, I'll try anything nowadays, mate, and fair enough with the old science. <laughs> oh, he's Cal, very funny man. Cole Elliott's another one. I don't know whether he had uh, the international fame that Kev did. All right, so let's move upstairs. Yes, You're right, mate. No sweat. Right. So let's move up now. And what I'm going to do is just turn off the chat. Right. We're getting professional now, Bob. We've got the laptop, mate. See that? Oh. All right, Femo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shine this up at the ceiling. Can I, can I squeeze through there, girls? Sorry, mate. Hey, man. how are you, mate? Hello. All right. Great. So, as you can see, it's a bit average today. Mid-20s. A little bit of a cold breeze. Right. Let me just turn this around so I don't upset anyone. All right, fam, so what we're gonna do, okay, is just head up to the display area. I'm gonna show you all the different little um, uh, aquariums they have here, a lot of the native fish, okay? And it's really quite a good display. The 27 and a half thousand litre tank is sensational, right? And if you want a good screensaver, it'll show you really large specimens of a lot of the local fish that are in the area. So let's go. And not to rub it in, because I know that you, <laughs> this is going to be like this for about the next six months, right? So this is the weather, all right? I'm not trying to stir anyone up, but you know, this is what I have to contend with them. This is what I have to contend with. It's just a jungle, you know, walking around in all this beer drinking weather, right? So let's go. <laughs> All right, we're going to head into the main display. Oops, that's not a good idea. All right, let's go. Hi, mate. Just going to wait for him to hit the button. All right. just going to go in just give us a second <laughs> minus 1.1 degrees celsius wow okay oh that'll do all right let's go in fam i always like to ask right so what we have here this is the discovery center okay in bunbury western australia right there we go that's the close-up, let's go to the far one. Right, so, what we'll do is, if you want a really nice screensaver, check this out, okay? Have a look at this. Look at the colour in that, fam. Check that out. Right, all the trevally and everything you're gonna swim past. We have a little deep sea sweep, all sorts of stuff. West Australian pink snapper, Western Australian jewfish. Here comes the Trevally again, zoom, straight past, right? This is a short uh, spiked uh, blowfish that has enough venom to kill about 30 people, okay? Now that's a West Australian pink snapper. We've caught plenty of those in the boat. These fish are quite tame, right? 
that's a tusk fish just there. Just down here we have a really beautiful fish. This is a West Australian Jewfish, D-H-U-F-I-S-H. -I We've caught a few of these in the boat. We've let them all go as they are not far off being endangered. And at the bottom here, what we have is we have a beautiful masked cray. So check this out, fam. Look at the size of this bugger, right? I'll just show you under here. Now that's the feelers that come out, right? Check this out. That's a crayfish under there. They grow about, I've seen them up to about, oh, nearly two feet long in the tail, right? And they are quite a prize fish. Due to Wilnino, really, okay. Minus one valley, whew. Yeah, something we don't need. There he is, that's the beautiful West Australian Jewfish, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the other little sea turtles. Look at this little funny one. Look at this little funny one. Hello, mate, I can't remember what you are. It's a type of goatfish. That's a moonlit wrasse, okay? So, what I'll do is, this is actually a living display. We've got the mullet sitting up the top as what they do here. That's what all the sea eagles in the area tend to feed on. Right, let's just move back a bit. Let's get it into full screen. All right, so if you want a really nice screen saver fam, check this out. All right. Oh, hopefully, Paul. Although, mate, it can still be quite bit wet for a bushfire to kick off, bud. Trust me on that one. Yeah, so these, um, the pink snapper and the jewfish, and the funny thing is, there's little anglerfish just down there, right? The jewfish and the snapper tend to um, hang out in the same area of the tank, which is about here, right? So let's do that. Here he comes. Hello, buddy. Beautiful fish. Now, the West Australian pink snapper are very susceptible to overfishing. That's why I don't keep them when I catch them out in the boat. I just catch them and let them go. Look at this little bugger. That is a sea urchin, right? Just there next to that. Hopefully, they're just chatting about economics and politics and it's not going to try and eat the sea urchin, right? But it's funny how that's a little creature, isn't it? There you go, bud. Oops, sorry. Woo. All right, now, in here what we have, this is an actual dolphin skeleton, right? And there's a very, very sad one down the bottom. That's actually a baby dolphin called Biscuit, right, that they found and they put into a jar. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it into the interpretive center, right, and I'm gonna show you a little short film on uh, dolphins and what they have to put up with, okay, in the wild. So let's head down here and we'll come back to this tank in a second before a heap of people start coming in. Uh, then I'll show you all the other displays. Jeepers. She looks like she's had a hard night. She's still got the, uh, like the gown on, you know? <laughs> Rightio. So. Oops. That's the little short movie there. Let's go in here. Oh, it's blocked off. Hmm. Now, I'll have to get back to that. What they do here is they try and teach um, the young'uns to uh, interact with um, the aquarium. So see all the funny coloured fish? They're actually um, fish that school groups have coloured in, right? And then what they do is they scan them and then they'll see the fish swim across the screen and they'll know that it's their fish. 
So it's a really good way to introduce the youngsters to um, uh, the different sea creatures, turtles, tusk fish, dolphins, coral, you name it. Okay, very, very interactive here. All right, now, what else have we got here? So, have a look at the variety of fish species that are in here, famo. Right, so we'll bring this in nice and close, like so. Right, so this is a living display. And as they say, coral reefs are the rainforests of the ocean, you know? Right, so. Where'd the cuddly go? They had a cuttlefish in here, did it die? Bugger. <laughs> yeah. Really rough night. Okay, so we have a variety of different fish in here. Okay, and um, I'll move in a bit closer so we get that pipe out of there. Right, there you go, fam. If you want a really nice little screen saver that'll cheer you up on a glum day, this is it. Okay, there is a little more a eel in here that's... Uh, basically black and white stripes. It looks like a soccer ref. Okay, where'd it go? I hope that it hasn't perished. Oh, there's another little fish in there with black and white stripes. Look at that. <whistles> Thank you, Patch the Sinclair. Thank you very, very much for giving up your time to come in, mate. All right, we are gonna be streaming uh, a bit more at night now so that we can, um, you know, show people um, our content. So we'll probably stream in the morning for Australia and the US and in the evening we'll do that for our uh, wonderful members of our community from Europe, okay, and Australia obviously, but usually at night here everyone's sleeping in the States. So there we go, famo. So a beautiful little live coral tank. Just excuse me for a second, I've got to set up a charge on this phone, otherwise we'll lose the stream. Not instead. One thing that you can never have enough of when you are streaming is power banks, fam. Right. And a lot of times your best friend when you're streaming is just a little bit of electrical tape. Okay, like that. That holds your stream together. Just excuse me for a second while I charge this up. Looks like that's charging now. Right. Hey, what happened there? Maybe I am. Um... <laughs> Night, Dan. Thanks for coming in, mate. Okay, now they also um, breed seahorses here. Okay. Now we did have a little um, cuttlefish in here, 
I'm just trying to find out where the little bugger's gone. Or maybe they've put all the um, clownfish in here because he moved on. They did have a really big cuttlefish in here, but he passed away from old age. Right. Now, this is quite a stunning little tank. Right. Maybe I would be better off getting this down at the eye level, I think. Oh, how am I going to do that? Very carefully, by the looks of it. All right, so what we'll do is we'll move right in on this. That's something I learned from a photographer guy. Try and avoid zooming. Just move your whole camera in, there we are. So with that whole perspective, right, there you go, Famo. So what we have in here, just down on the bottom left here, we have a seahorse, and we have a few little seahorses that have wrapped themselves around the coal, so just check this out, right? So there they are, see the little seahorses just in here? Right, there's a little seahorse there, and there's another one just in here, right, and there's one that's on the left there, okay? Just in here, as you can see it. Okay, so they do breathe them here. That's a bit better. There we are. Okay, Patch. <laughs> oh, you got family in the Blue Mountains. I'm on the opposite end of the country there, mate. I'm in Western Australia. They're on the um, eastern uh, side, Kosciuszko and all that. All right, famo. So, as you can see, little seahorses building around in the tank. Then in here, right. Look how blue that water is. I think it's actually the light that does it. So, let's identify some of these fish. We have some Clark Eye clownfish down here. Okay, um, that's the blue fish out of Nemo. I can never remember the name for the life of me. Right, little parrot fish. And if you have a look, a lot of these corals and that sort of stuff that you see in these tanks are ones that they've bred from little breakages in the um, area down the bottom there, okay? And uh, they bring them in here and then they grow into full-size corals. And I mean, this is really quite fascinating in here. If you have a look in this giant clam here, all right, check that out. You've got a little clownfish in there. One of the funniest cartoons or little captions I've ever seen was a clownfish um, surrounded by an anemone and it said, I'm sorry, I'm just not ready for another symbiotic relationship, you know? Funny stuff. Very, very funny stuff. Okay. Can't beat that English banter and, and Scottish banter as well. Let's not forget Rab Nesbitt and those guys, you know, absolute classics. Rab Nesbitt. There we go, fam. Right. Now, we have a little treat here. Right, I'm gonna show you a little Western Australian rock lobster. Check that out. That is a smaller version of the bigger one that we saw before just in here now I'll just zoom in right just underneath that rock there you'll always find them under crevices and that sort of stuff right that's the West Aussie rock lobster that's how good this um, camera is we've picked up the little um, grubby bit on the inside of the screen Hello, sugar honey, how are you? Now, is there actually an octopus in here? 
No, there's not. No, it must have passed on. Bugger. That's, oh, yes, there is. No, that's a rock. Hmm. Great identification there, Jimbo. Oh, thanks, Sugar Honey. It wouldn't have been possible without the good members of the community like yourself. And once again, people, thank you very, very much. Check this out for such a beautiful... The amount of, like, uh... I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at that, fam. Isn't that lovely? I have no idea what that's called. I think... Oh, I don't even know what that's called. I would hazard a guess. Right, but the ocean has absolutely beautiful, beautiful um, creatures in it, you know. <sighs> yes, notice how culpable isn't here, sugar honey? That's right. Because when culpable is in here with you, he is culpable, you know. Is that um, little theatre with the dolphins open or closed? Yeah. Uh, the one that's got the circular... They're waiting for a replacement for it. Oh, bugger, that's not good. It's starting, you see it's because it's old. It's old. Yeah. And they don't make them with those globes anymore. Oh. Those globes only last so many hours. Wow. And, and it plays flat out, doesn't it? It plays out and you couldn't get seen probably, so they shut it down. Yeah. They have got a replacement coming, but. Yeah, uh, they're like everything really else. Yeah, that's right, yeah, like everything else. Yeah, like everything else. I think he's scared, sugar honey. Let me just send him a message and if he's... He's getting a bit, you know, weak in his old age. Old culp. He's just, you know... He's just getting old. He says he's not, but he is. So if you want to have a really nice screensaver, fam, just, um, you know, clip these and away you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, you got to see some of the Barrier Reef, Martin. I've flown over the Barrier Reef. That's as close as I've got. All right, Famo. So, now what we're going to do is another little treat. I'm going to take you down to this turtle tank where they weigh the turtles and measure them. Right, so let's just head down in here. Okay. Now, this is going to be good because what we've got in here, we've got stingrays, we've got turtles, we've got everything, fam. I'm just going to drop this tripod down to the correct height. Rightio, check this out, famo. Let's go to the other lens. Good morning. There we are. So what I'm going to do is move this in a bit closer. So what we have in here, we have turtles, we have rays, we have everything. There you go. You'll see them zooming around. Right. Here he is. This one's a little photo bomber. Look at him. Yeah, he knows when the camera's around. Probably best if we do the length of the tank. Like this thing, you'll get to see it. And here we are. There we are. Let me just put this away. Whoops. Okay. Now, because they're belting around flat out, that's why it seems a bit stirred up and a bit silty. Yeah, I hope so, Paul. Hello, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm just showing the tank. How are you going? We've got partnership. What does that mean? We've got partnered on YouTube. How does that work? 
I'll explain to you later, because I don't know myself yet. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys are partnered, aren't you? Well, partner, what, what do you mean? Like... Well, they can do, um, basically, YouTube plays ads and monetizes your videos. Yes. Your partner, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, we finally hit it last night. Yeah, 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 because you need how many views and hours, something like that. 4,000 right? hours yeah, in yeah. a year, yeah. so, you know, which we did. Yeah. yeah. I know that. Subscribers as well as yeah, you've got to have over a thousand. Yeah. So, yeah. Excellent. Are you around all morning or? Uh, yes. Alright, I'll come up and say hello after. They stop the glass bottom boats. Really? Okay, well, that's interesting. Oh, you're welcome, sugar honey. And what we'll do, let's just go across to a couple of the other displays. Right, and I'll show you what else. This is a really interactive area. Okay, oh, don't tell me you're stuck. Yes, we have a rather adventurous sea turtle down here, fam. That's a blue spotted ray that's over on the left. Oh, don't. Paul, you're the one that needs the pat on the back. Not me, mate. I just turn the camera on. You guys and girls come in and turn your um, like notifications on and come in and watch the stream. That's the most... Stream is nothing without their community, fam. Right? The streamer is the least important person in any stream. Okay? Least important person in any stream. All right? Oh, that's right, Valerie, you know. And as I said to you, if it wasn't for this sort of environment, the turtles would have a much uh, lesser chance of survival, you know. All right, let's just move down a bit. Um, with the streaming that we do here, fam, we've managed to organise uh, some corporate sponsorship for this centre. So we always give back to the people that allow us the opportunity to um, stream from their premises, you know. Now, here we go. Now, what we have here is we have the little petting tanks. So... Now these are all the sea stars that are in here. They're not starfish, they're sea stars. Okay? So you have to wash your hands before you um, uh, can pat them. But this is a really good and interactive way to um, uh, interact younger people with uh, nature and the ocean. Okay? So what they have here is they have all these different little sea stars that are in here, okay? And uh, they'll just let them come in and pat them. All right, they'll just sit just underneath the surface like that. All right, there we are. Normally, um, normally when they do that, um, you know, usually you get to all the brightly colored stuff is uh, not the best, but here it allows you to interact with them, you know? Such beautiful colors on these sea stars, aren't they? You know? Dr. Chemistry, hello my friend, welcome to the stream, how are you? How's things, good to see you in here, mate. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just work our way over here. 
Okay, what we have here now, fam, this is basically the tank of the fish that we'll find in our local waterways. Right, now, we have a rather large blue manna crab in here. We will be doing some crabbing streams probably in about the next 10 days, I think. Right, actually, no. Let's do that. There we go. Excuse me for a second. I'm just going to alter the height of this tripod again. Right. Now let me show you um, a couple of the fish that we've done on our streams here. So, what we have here, okay, this is a Western Australian black brim. These are a very slow growing fish. This is the West Australian blue manna crab. Okay, that's a nice one actually. I think everything in this tank looks a bit bigger. Okay, so with the brim, these are a very slow growing fish. As a hazard to a guess, I would say this little bugger is probably about 25 centimetres long, which means at that age, it's nearly 20 years old. Okay, probably about 18 years old at that size. That's why we do not keep any black brim at all because they're such a slow growing fish and they're such a susceptible fish to overfishing. Um, we've caught 12 and lost 15 in a stream before. And just down here, what we have is we have the little blue manna crab. They are an absolute delicacy in Western Australia. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to catch these, not only by hand, but with a scoop net, okay? And then I'll show you how we walk around in the middle of the night in shark infested waters. And then we try and catch some blue crabs. As you can see, that's a beautiful little crab. Bit of a bully, but that's okay. You know, it's either eat or be eaten in here, isn't it? Okay. So if you type in Western Australian blue manna crab, that will give you the full rundown on them, right? Their legal size between the two horns on the side of the shell there, it's got two horns. It's got to be a minimum of 127 millimetres, all right? I think we can probably go down another notch. Let's do that. Tripods are so much easier than backpacks, fam. You don't need a backpack. Let's bring that down to a little bit more at tank level. There we go. Now we're starting to look professional. There we go. All right, this would be another little beautiful screensaver. Now, that fish just in here, that's a common silver bitty, okay? That's found more or less in the top half and bottom half of Australia. All right. Yeah, you and me both, Paul. Yeah, but you got to go through that, don't you, to appreciate it, Dr. Chemistry. You know, I think uni students should get a free education, but that's just me. It only betters the country, and then you get it back in their higher earnings from tax anyway. So, you know, it all works out. Have a look at the colours in this blue manna crab, fam. Absolutely stunning. There we go. Western Australian uh, black brim are very similar to pink snapper. Um, they actually look quite similar when they're smaller. It's just that the pink snapper is pink with little purple spots and the black brim is like a bronzy colour. Look at the size of this crab. That would fit in the pot nicely. Don't let anyone hear that I said that. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, so look, um, what we might do is um, we might wind it up for today, right? And we will be uh, doing another stream next week or definitely within the next fortnight. Okay. Oh, they are. 
Yeah, that's not. Oh, it is. These are an absolutely exquisite. Yeah, he knows he's being watched. Yeah. Don't worry about that. You just keep getting bigger, son. Don't worry about the rest of it, eh? All right. And they're quite funny because the females make nests that the um, males guard. So you're walking along and there's a crab that's like, you know, that crab's going around. Go on. Yeah, what are you looking at? Mind me own business having a cup of tea, then you lot turn up with your phones, innit? Yeah, do you mind? I'm busy here. That is a magnificent sized crab. Look at that. Whew. Oh, you're welcome, sugar honey. Yeah, it is, Martin. <laughs> the ones here are exceptional too. Um, that very, very clean on the shell there. The best meat is in the claws. Okay, you don't actually get much out of the shell. Sorry, mate, we just, you know, I've noticed how I'm doing this while it's looking away, right? And then most of the best meat is in the claws here, okay? I'll do a catch and cook. I'll show you how to make a West Australian reef and beef. Okay, I do an absolutely stunning West Australian reef and beef where we cook a beautiful beef ice steak, put it on top of a blue manor crab on a bed of mashed potato with a white wine mushroom sauce. I haven't shown you about the, uh, the, I haven't shown you the culinary exploits that we achieve on this channel, but trust me, they are wide and varied, and unlike a lot of other places, we grow our own ingredients. That's a little toadfish. All right, Paul, let me just go and wind it up. Yeah, they are Dr. Chemistry. Yeah, crabs are a little bit like a front rower. They just try and barge into everything. Look at the claw span on this. Look at the claw span on that. Hello, mate. See? And the right one will go out in a minute. There he goes. That is a very big blue crab. Such beautiful little fish. <laughs> Sorry, sugar honey. Whoops. All right. Let's just move down and we'll wind up the stream with everyone. Okay. Yeah, one last look at this tank. Where's this beautiful West Australian pink snapper? Here it is. We'll have to call it Pinky Tuscadero, like happy days. Yes, that would be a good shot. Look at that. These, that West Australian jewfish there, that can grow up to about uh, 60 pounds. Right, they're an absolutely magnificent fish when they sort of reach that size, you know? All right, so let's just chuck this here. Let's chuck this here, okay. So. Thanks very much for tuning in everyone. I really appreciate the fact that you've given up your time to come in and watch the stream. Okay, this is uh, another stream. We're gonna try and stream every day from now on. Just let the uh, YouTube algorithm know, you know, that we're still here. We've gone live. Um, look, we'll probably do a fly tying stream tonight, a little bit later but um, I'll put out a notification in the community tab, so turn your notifications on. So look, um, stay safe and stay well, be the best person you can be, and in fact, just keep being awesome. All right, we've got a great community of good people. Whoops, what did I do wrong there? All right, we've got a great community of good people. We're sort of reaching the professional status now with the streaming, but a couple of other things we've got to do to sort of take us up to that next level, and that should be happening in the next couple of weeks, okay? All right, bye for now. Thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you. Catch ya.